At the age of 26, Tom Pace read at a fourth grade level. He had failed at college three times and had been through a string of about 30 jobs. He is today a successful CEO, husband, Mentoring has been such an important part in my life. Having someone in my life show me how they became successful in, their, in different areas of their life. I only had $62.53 when I made a decision that I wanted to start the business. I came up with the idea. And from there, I started taking action in order to make it become a reality. With a construction company. The gentleman was about to say no because I weighed about 150 pounds. I wasn't very strong at the time and I think he needed somebody stronger. And I got the telephone rang and before I walked out, I decided to go ahead and as I was waiting for him to get off the phone, it looked like it was going to be an extended period of time, I picked a broom up and I started to sweep the shop. And when he got off the phone, he'd seen that I'd taken this initiative and he offered me a job on the spot. What happened was our company had been in the business for several years. Uh, we started in 1987. And about a little after 2000, I guess 2002, our business had a lot of down, had a lot of problems. Uh, our, we had implemented some new software. We got involved in a lawsuit uh, that had, had to do with our marketing program. Everything that was going good, it seemed like the next one, one day it was great, the next day it just went totally opposite. Everything kind of fell apart and I got extremely depressed during that time. So if you were talking to someone giving them some advice about how to get out of depression, what would you say? Run? <laughs> well you need to take action. Take and action. And you have to, one of the things is I didn't need, I needed not to believe my own thoughts. My own thoughts kept me in bed in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. And some days my wife would say, are you going to go to work today? And I said, I'll try to get there as soon as I can. And sometimes I didn't get to work until 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. And your thoughts were, I'm a failure. Oh, absolutely. Everything's going wrong. Absolutely. As CEO of the company, I believe it's very important that I help people, all of our employees, and even our customers and vendors, to grow, personally grow. Uh, you're actually mentoring, in a sense, all of those employees. I'm paying $10 for each book. And if they did that for the entire year, they'd have an additional $1,040. Uh, we're around, running around two to 300 books a month that our employees are reading. Whether I was gonna run the, continue the marathon on my own and, mm -hmm. and maybe get under four hours and be successful, or whether I was gonna stay with Alex and help him to run his very first marathon. And what did you do? I made the decision to stay with Alex and run his first marathon. And so therefore, I think I became significant in Alex's life. He ran his first marathon. And you know, a lot of people set goals. They start to take action on the goals. They have some setbacks, some failures, and they give up. And that's one of the benefits of having a mentor in your life. Because when he said he wanted to give up, I knew he could do it. I knew he could finish the marathon. He didn't know he could finish the marathon. But together, we were able to finish the marathon. That we need to be able to ask other people, how did you do it? How did you become successful in this in this area, whether it's mental, physical, spiritual, financial, or relationships? We all need people to give us encouragement and to help us to make it through this.